Welcome back to Chem Exam Explained. In today's video, we will be looking at 2023 Cape Chemistry, Unit 1. We are on to Module 2, Kinetics and Equilibria for the 2023 Chemistry Exam paper. Let's start. 2A, a student placed a known quantity of frozen N2O2. This is dinitrogen tetraoxide in a sealed tube and allowed it to warm up to room temperature. As the vessel was warming, a brown gas appeared, which indicated that the frozen N2O2 had vaporized to form a gas and then decomposed to form NO2, nitrogen dioxide. According to the reaction below, the student allowed the reaction to proceed further until equilibrium was reached. Now you want to examine the equation. And if you look at the equation here, you'll see that we have a positive value for the enthalpy change. So this is saying that this particular reaction is an endothermic reaction. What does that mean? It means that heat is a reactant. If it was exothermic, then heat would be a product. So because this is an endothermic reaction, think of heat as a reactant. Let's look at the questions. Part one, explain the term dynamic equilibrium. A system is in dynamic equilibrium when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. Part two, state what is observed when dynamic equilibrium is reached in the reaction above. Now, remember, the reaction is a dynamic one. So the rate at which N2O4 is being used up is equal to the rate at which NO2 is formed. So what you should observe is the brown color of NO2 remaining, right? And this is happening at equilibrium. Now, the N2O4 is colorless, so you would not observe that, but you are observing the brown NO2. Part three, state La Chatelier's principle. Now, La Chatelier's principle states that if a system is in equilibrium and a change in concentration, temperature, or pressure occurs, the system will act in such a way to oppose the effect of the change and return to equilibrium over a finite period of time. Part four, write the expression for a Kp for the reaction above. Now remember the reaction went from N2O4 to 2NO2. So when you write Kp, we must use the partial pressure symbol. So Kp is the partial pressure of the product, which is NO2 raised to its coefficient over the partial pressure of the reactant, which in this case is N2O4. Now, if it was Kc, we would have to use concentration instead of partial pressure. But this question asks for Kp. So we use the partial pressure and not concentration. Part five, in the space provided below, Draw a graph to show how the concentration of N2O4 gas and NO2 gas are expected to change as the reaction proceeds towards equilibrium. Now, if you look at the graph here, you'll see that we are forming NO2, but you cannot form NO2 if N2O4 is not used up. So the concentration of the N2O4 which is the reactant, is being used up while the formation of NO2 is being formed. So we are decreasing in the concentration of the N2O4 while we are increasing in the concentration of the NO2. Again, you look at the N2O4, that is the reactant. Reactant will be used up, therefore decreasing concentration, while NO2 is a product and you increase in the product and the line plateaus 
to show that we reach equilibrium. Part six, account for the shape of the graph drawn in A4. So this is what I just explained. So as time progresses, the NO2 concentration increases until it becomes constant when equilibrium is reached. At the same time, the N2O4 concentration decreases until it becomes constant when equilibrium is reached. Part seven, state what is observed when the sealed tube is cooled to zero degrees Celsius. Outline the reason for what is observed. Let's look at the reaction again. So we have N2O4 forming 2NO2. We know that the reaction is endothermic because the enthalpy change value is positive. Now, if it is endothermic, remember that heat is a reactant. So if you decrease the temperature, right, because you are cooling it to zero degrees Celsius, then you are removing heat from the reactant. So according to La Chatelier's principle, whatever change you make, then the system must oppose that change. Now, because you are decreasing the temperature, La Chatelier's principle is saying that I must increase by the heat that you are removing so the system would shift to the left. Now, if the system shifts to the left, remember, they're asking you, what do you observe? So the NO2, which was red-brown, would now decrease in color and the system shifting to the left, which is going towards the colorless side. So therefore you'll have a decrease in color from reddish brown to colorless. The reaction is endothermic. So lowering the temperature, shift the reaction towards the formation of N2O4. 2B part one, state the difference in behavior between a strong acid and a strong base according to bronsted lorry theory. Now bronsted lorry states that a strong acid is a substance that donates a proton to a molecule, while a strong base is a substance that accepts a proton from an acid. 2B, part two. Write the reaction for the dissociation of CH3COOH, which is ethanoic acid. Now, ethanoic acid would dissociate to form ethanoate and the proton. 2B, Part three, complete table two below using the variable X to generate expressions for the equilibrium concentrations of the reaction components for a 0 0.30 molar solution of ethanoic acid. Now, if you look at the table, you'll see that the table consists of ethanoic acid, the proton, and the ethanoate ion. Initially, the concentration of the ethanoic acid is 0 0.30 moles per dm cube. Therefore, since no reaction is taking place, the initial concentration of the proton would be zero, as well as the initial concentration of the ethanoate ion. After the reaction start to proceed, you will now have a change of X. So the reactant side is losing X while the product side is gaining X for the proton and X for the ethanoate ion. At equilibrium, what is taking place is 0 0.30 moles per dm cube minus X. And at equilibrium for the proton, it gains X and X also for the ethanoate ion. So this is the statement at equilibrium for each of the component in the reaction. 2B part four, generate an expression for Ka for the reaction using equilibrium expressions obtained in B part three. Remember, we had ethanoic acid dissociating to form the ethanoate ion and the proton. So to write the Ka expression, it is the product of the products raised to their coefficients, which would be one in this case over the concentration of the product of the reactant. And this time, the only reactant is CH3COOH. The values from the table were X for the ethanoate ion, X for the proton, and 0 0.3 minus X for
for the ethanoic acid. And these are your values at equilibrium. So it would be Ka equal x squared over 0 0.3 minus x. 2B part 5. Calculate the pH of 0 0.3 molar solution of ethanoic acid at 25 degrees Celsius if x is 0 0.0023. Now, if you look back at the table, you'll see that these values are already at equilibrium, okay? These values are already at equilibrium. So all we need to do is to use the X value given in the question, all right? So this is the equation, again, that was given. And we know that the X value for the proton is 0 0.0023, the value, for the ethanoate ion is also 0 0.0023. But this question is asking you for the pH, and we can find the pH from the H plus concentration values. So we can use the H plus concentration value to find the pH, all right? So what do we know? We know that the H plus concentration is equal to 0 0.0023. So we use the equation pH equal minus log H plus. You plug in the value and then find the minus log of that value to get the pH equal 2.64. Two part C. Figure one is a diagram of a voltaic cell. Give the correct labels that correspond to the letters A, B, and C on the voltaic cell. So here we have A, which represents the flow of electrons, okay? And of course, B is the anode where we have oxidation. So electrons would flow from the anode to the cathode, which is C. So A, electron flow, B, anode, C, cathode. C, part two. Describe an observation expected during electrolysis. We can have several observations, however, they want one because they say describe an observation. Let's look at the various things you can observe and you can choose any one. Electrode B will decrease in mass or electrode C will increase in mass as deposits form on it. So you can have a decrease in mass or an increase in mass. So describe one of those observations. C part three, describe an observed change if the cell components are based on the cell type zinc boundary, zinc two plus ion, salt bridge, copper two plus ion, boundary, copper solid. So of course, we're seeing that zinc would be the anode and copper would be the cathode. So the zinc electrode disintegrates or a pink-brown deposit at the copper electrode or electrolyte at copper electrodes, which is blue fades. Anyone could be a possible answer. C part four, state a chemical component which is in the salt bridge. Now remember that the salt bridge is the part of the cell that you put or use a strong electrolyte. So you can use potassium chloride, sodium chloride, potassium nitrate, or ammonium nitrate as possible answers. This is the end of module two, kinetics and equilibrium.